Welcome to our lesson about sheet metal bend tables. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use bend tables. You can use bend tables to specify bend allowance or bend deduction. SolidWorks is able to read two types of bend tables, Excel spreadsheets or text files. Text files are a legacy format having been used as far back as SolidWorks 2000 and earlier. When Excel spreadsheets are used, they become embedded in the SolidWorks part document. It's important to remember that when you use text files instead of spreadsheets, you're going to have to provide the text file as a separate file for your recipient. The text file is not embedded as part of the SolidWorks part document. Let's begin by creating a new bend table. We access this command from the Insert menu. Insert, Sheet Metal, Bend Table, and select New. SolidWorks prompts us with a warning. Inserting a bend table may cause the developed length of the flat pattern to change. Do we want to continue? Well, yes, we do. Next, we specify the units. Let's use millimeters. The bend table type, we choose from bend allowance, bend deduction, or K factor. Let's use bend allowance for this first example. Lastly, we browse for the location or we can specify it manually. Notice we don't use an existing bend table in this case. SolidWorks creates a new bend table. And by the way, SolidWorks does come with a few bend tables. They're installed in your SOLIDWORKS directory. The path is Lang, English, Sheet Metal Bend Tables. These tables are only examples and they're not designed for real parts. Let's go back to our dialog window. Click OK. The Excel spreadsheet opens inside SOLIDWORKS. First, we see the units of measurement, in our case, millimeters. The type, bend allowance. Material, soft copper and soft brass. Thickness, one millimeter, in our example. Below is a matrix comprised of bend angle and bend radius. At the intersection of a one millimeter bend radius and a 90 degree bend angle, I'm going to enter a bend allowance value of 2.33 millimeters. At the intersection of 90 degrees and a 2 millimeter bend radius, I'm going to enter a value of 3.35 millimeters. After you finish entering the data in the bend table, just click outside it. This returns you to the main SolidWorks interface. Let's edit the sheet metal feature. In the bend allowance control area, if bend table is selected, the table we just created is pre-selected. Let's cancel out. Now let's flatten our part. We'll measure the bend region. And surely enough, it's 2.33 millimeters. Cancel out of the measure tool. Let's change the bend radius. Right click, edit feature. I'll use a two millimeter radius this time. Click OK. Let's measure the bend region once again. Measure tool. Now it's 3.35 millimeters, just as we'd specified in our table. Let's edit the base flange again. Right click, Edit Feature. I'm going to enter a value of 3 millimeters for the bend radius. As you remember, we didn't specify a bend allowance value for a bend radius of 3 millimeters, so let's see what happens when we click OK. As you see, I get the warning symbol next to the feature. Let's see what's wrong by clicking on it. The specified bend allowance for the given radius and thickness is invalid. The bend allowance is evaluated using the K factor instead. Basically, SolidWorks has disregarded my bend table and calculated the bend allowance via the K factor method instead. Let's close this window and let's go edit our bend table. Edit, Bend Table, and we'll select Edit Table. I'm going to edit the value at the intersection of 90 degrees and 3 millimeters. Let's enter 5.45. Click outside of the table for the updates to take effect and to return to the main interface. As you can see, the warning sign has disappeared. When I measure the length of the bend region, I see that it's 5.45 millimeters as I'd specified. 
Deleting a bend table is easy. Edit, bend table, delete. SolidWorks warns us, if the bend table is deleted, the sheet metal feature will use a k-factor of 0.5 to calculate the developed length of the flat pattern. Do we want to continue? Well, yes, we do. Let's click on yes. And yes again. Now let's take a look at text-based bend tables. As I mentioned before, the sample bend tables are stored in the SolidWorks directory on your hard drive. You can basically copy this bend table, rename it, and then store it in the directory of your choice so that you can leave this template here for you to use when you need it later on. Notice that the extension of this file is .btl, not .txt, but essentially it's an ASCII format text file. You can open this file in a program such as Notepad. As you see, we've got pretty much the same information as contained in the spreadsheet. Table type, bend allowance, material, steel, unit, this one's in meters. Here's the table specified for a one millimeter thickness. Next is the bend radius and bend angle. I'll change the values in the matrix just as I did in the Excel spreadsheet. At the intersection of a one millimeter radius and a 90 degree angle, I'm going to use a 2.5 millimeter bend allowance. And a 3.5 millimeter bend allowance for a 1.5 millimeter bend radius and a 90 degree angle. Let's save our changes. File, Save, and Return to SolidWorks. Now let's right click and edit the sheet metal feature. Let's change the bend radius to one millimeter. Under the bend allowance section, let's select bend table. Browse for our table. We'll select sheet metal bend tables. And now let's select the table we just created from the drop down list. Click OK. Let's measure the length of the bend region now. 2.5 millimeters. As you see, it's just as we'd specified in the bend table. Let's change the bend radius. Right click on Sheet Metal 1, Edit Feature. Let's change it to 1.5 millimeters. Click OK. And let's measure the length of the bend region again. As you see, it's 3.5 millimeters, just as we'd specified. Now let's change the value of the bend radius again. This time we'll enter 1.25 millimeters. As you may remember, we actually don't have a bend allowance value for a 1.25 millimeter bend radius. So let's accept and see what happens. As you see, we don't have any warning message. Let's measure the bend region though. The length is three millimeters. What's happened here is that SolidWorks extrapolated the value based on the high and low value we specified in the bend table. SolidWorks essentially did this calculation on our behalf. And this concludes our lesson about bend tables.